Well, good morning, our beloveds. We wish to tell you that it's go time. (coughs) What does go time mean? Today, you prepare for battle, for war, and tomorrow, you go to war. Tomorrow, you will don your warrior regala. We want you to understand that the energies are pulling many of you forth. And many of you have willingly accepted this call to move forward, and many of you haven't, and that is okay. It is going to be what it is going to be. You know when you are to move forward, and you know when you're not ready, or you choose not to be ready, but it is again okay. We call forth everyone knowing that a small percentage will rise, as always. In these times and under these terms, it is difficult to have courage because you are actually taught to either just back down or argue and beat somebody into submission. But you have not been taught how to battle energetically with love you either do it out of anger or you submit because that is <coughs> what has played out in humanity's timeline up to now it is the patriarchy it is the fear-based vibration within which you have existed for millennia but that energy is shifting and changing now to that of love and light in its fullness. The lion and the lamb, we shall remind you. In the past, the lion was representative of dominion, (coughs) queen energy, right? One that dominates its subjects, but now it is simply turning into mama bear energy which means we shall play, we shall romp, we shall have good times, and I will only attack, I will only battle when our own preservation is at risk. Other than that, I shall ignore the energies out there. I shall not try to get the world to submit to my will because I want to harness money and gold and riches off of the backs of others. It is no longer my desire to be that kind of queen. I wish to be the queen of the jungle where I simply keep the energies in balance. Sometimes, yes, An animal must be ripped to shreds, but it is because it is creating a danger. But I will no longer hunt and kill and eat for the sake of keeping myself alive. I will nurture and nourish my body with my own efforts, with my own intentions, with my own belief systems. I will no longer subjugate others in order to feel that my needs must be met by building and expanding a huge kingdom that goes way beyond my boundaries and my borders. That energy, much like the queen, has died. We're now bringing in new energies. of warriors who will fight back against the queen's soldiers demanding freedom and integrity in their lifestyles. They no longer wish to be slaves or minions. They wish to be treated as equals 
who have as much right to be alive and to find joy and to live peacefully as anyone else. It's no longer finding those warriors who are battling for others, for their glory and benefit, instead of their own. So we shall call forth a few more of you before tomorrow. But just know <clears throat> that the battle energetically for your souls and humanity's souls lies within this last month. And it doesn't mean that you have to slay anyone or kill anyone. You simply must walk away from that which no longer serves you. Stand up and say, I demand to be respected and move on. You need not kill anyone anymore. Just walking away is enough because if everyone walks away from those who have harmed others, they will finally get the message. So we would encourage each and every one of you to find that ability, <clears throat> that strength, that knowing of who you are and what you are, and walking away from those who harm you, who take advantage of you, who manipulate you, who create chaos. Don't give them the power any longer. Simply exclude them from your lives and allow the universe to implement the ripple effect that is the natural consequence of losing those whom you have been manipulating, harming, hurting, or causing distress to. Your intentions to walk away from that which no longer serves you is more important than you realize you think it is simply turning around and walking away. But our another now remembers a moment where she did that. She was told that she insulted another person by simply aggressively turning around and walking away. Trust us when we tell you those actions harm the perpetrators more than you could ever realize. They need you to be engaged in the conflict. And the day that you simply walk away is the day that you take away all of their power. Believe in yourselves enough to walk away and say no more. I deserve better, and then fight to the death almost for what is rightfully yours, because that will also harm them where it hurts the most in the pocketbook, because at the end of the day, it's all about money and power, and power and money. If they have neither, they have nothing. That is where your power lies. And so it is. Namaste.